Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see useful URLs in Odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about how to restrict HTTP or XML RPC request in Odoo using the CLI command. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblens channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial. Right now, we are working on this playlist. By the way, these three playlists are the subtopic wise playlist available. But if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can start from this playlist. All right. And guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. Plus, it will give you the latest notification about upcoming sessions. So let's back to our main topic. What is useful URLs? I already explained in version 17, but let me explain one more time in version 18. The thing is there is one main difference available in version 18. So first thing is you can observe here, you can see this Odoo, right? Let's not focus about this discuss parameter, right? So let's discuss about this slash Odoo. So let's say if I'm going to here in the new tab and let's say if I want to access the Odoo, specifically the backend part. I can directly redirect to this page plus you can see here it will you can see here Odoo. So this is the main difference from version 18 to the older versions. Older versions means from 17 to the older versions. All right. So in that cache, it was available the web like this. But now you can see it will automatically redirect to the Odoo. Okay. Now. Another thing is the web is still used here. Okay. Once you enter, it will redirect to the Odoo again. So might be there is a many scenarios why they implemented Odoo instead of the web. Previous versions, it would be used like this as a web. Okay. But now onwards, you can see as a Odoo, it will automatically redirect to the Odoo. So this is the first case. The second case is the portal access, right? Right. So let's say I have a one a manufacturing company or let's say I am owner of the Amazon right and this is the Amazon interface right now I want to give you the access as a client as a customer so here in this case you are the portal user right so you can see only your stuff not any other people's stuff right once you log in you will see here the your account related data such as let's say your orders right if you click to here you can see the full order then after if you go back to here you can see your own invoices right like this then after the project the task right then after you can also change your password so this is something like the read only features which is provided by Odoo as a portal as a customer you need only your data as a read only right so that's the reason like Odoo introduced this feature as a portal so this is the slash my URL right you can use for the portal access then after if you want to redirect to the login page you can directly use web slash login okay here the good thing is here they didn't replace this web to odoo so if you try like this so might be there is a chance you will get this result all right anyway let's not focus about more in odoo url so let's say here the web slash login right another is the sign up if you use like this in the URL, it will automatically redirect to this web page. So this is the sign up page of the portal. All right. So here, let's say you can also directly create a new portal user. It's only have its own record. So it's not possible to log in in the backend side. All, all right. So this is the internal users only for the client. They can use the portal user. So here they can use slash web slash sign up. Now there is a one more thing is specifically for the administrator, they can use web database slash like selector. Okay. If you are working with the multiple database, right. For the different companies or let's say for the different clients. So here you can see the list of databases available for the different clients or different projects here directly you can select and you can directly access that particular Odoo instance, the specific database. So that is the main purpose of that web database selector, right? And if you replace selector to sell manager, so here you can see this is specifically for the admin purpose. So here they can do some operations. They can create the new database. They can restore the database, right? They can also reset the master password 
they can also delete this database this is for the duplicate database and this one is for the backup purpose with file store or with the dump file i mean the without file store so those options so those options you can see here right and yeah so this is specifically for the administrator purpose right i mean this manager now let's say if you are in the login page right we can do directly change here let's say if you want to reset the password if you click here it will redirect to the reset password okay or else you can directly use here slash web reset underscore password if you want to go to back to the login page you can see here here you can see it's redirect to the web slash login right and if you want to sign up you can click to this url it will again open the sign up page if you want to go to the database manager you can click to here and it will redirect to this web database manager right so yeah so those are the main useful urls as a odoo developer or the functional consultant right i hope you understood about this topic and if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session